So I got all my packs, at least uh, several packs pipes. Got some tools, some connections, and hope I'll be able to uh, finish it uh, all in one run. So I have to pre-assemble uh, a few parts because I have to install it in phases. So I have to put these two together and these two together. That's done. Back to the van. I'm here below the sink. Just temporarily put the sink in, as you can see. And I got myself a flexible drain line and that will be attached to this part here. What I did is with these two parts that I just glued, put one in here and the other out here. What I then still have to do is in this part, you see it coming down, I have to guide that pipe down. And then all the way back down to this part, and that's where I ended up when I attached the, the pipe to the grey water tank. I'm in the van again, did some prep work. Uh, I'm finally installing my sink, my kitchen sink. Took me a while to get one, but I got one now uh, and I'm going to install it here in my countertop and I already put some indications for where I had to enlarge the hole because that was a little bit on the small size. So I'm taking my uh, jigsaw and my power supply, the Blue Eddy, which makes life easier at this moment and I'm gonna get that hole the correct size and this is then my kitchen sink Just a test fit now. That works beautifully. Yep. <laughs> the faucet. That works. So what I'll do now is uh, put some uh, put some polyurethane on the edges so that can dry and it's sealed again. Uh, and then put the uh, sink in permanently.
I also install a uh, three quarter inch uh, overflow pipe and it drains down into the bathtub I have underneath. And there was a compromise because it was quite difficult to get it to the outside because the spare tire is under there. Well, one day later, the sink has been installed and that's secured. It's a little bit still curing, but uh, officially 24 hours or so. Uh, but the next uh, step is connect to the sewer line. That seems to be working. I still have a disconnect here very close to the water pump so if I have to remove or replace the water pump I can disconnect it here. It's connected now but uh, I want to finalize it just uh, with some uh, electrical tape. I want to connect my relay. I made a box to cover it all. That's done, and now everything is connected except for my fuse at the fuse box. This is my 12 volt compartment and the batteries out here. And if I'm correct, this is for the pump. And now let's try it out. Okay, I have juice. Now still water in the fresh water tank. Finally, the big test. Okay. So you can always see that the faucet is on. It keeps on running right now because it's uh, filling the water heater, even though it's not uh, working yet. But... That's better. Okay, the water heater is filled. That works. And that is a big solution because uh, the last couple of uh, trips that I made, I still had to get the water out of my fresh water tank by hand. And of course, let me not forget to switch that off. There is one more unrelated thing that I have, and that is the fact that I had a use for this space. This is a folding uh, router table in combination with my uh, woodworking table. It's underneath, as you can see, underneath my desk. My desk seat, sorry. <laughs> Until now I've been driving around with uh, my unfinished wardrobe. Uh, I got I can put some uh, hanging clothes in here as well, as you can see. Uh, and I've been working uh, the last couple of days on this door. That's finished now. Put the hinges in and some locks uh, so that that will close. However, I still had another thing that I have been preparing for. Uh, in probably, I think, one of the first trips that I made through Florida uh, early this year, I was able to uh, stop by an Ikea and get one of these plastic mirrors. Uh, pretty difficult to get, uh, but it's plastic, so it's not glass, so it's not dangerous, but it's still nice to have a, a mirror in your van. So I'll be putting that inside my door but before I do that I'll use some alcohol to clean the door because I'll be using some I think 3M tape 
And it's always good to clean the surface with some alcohol. So, that is nice. So I've got a nice mirror. And I got my wardrobe. Another job that I still had to do was uh, to install a towel holder. Got one here. And I got a towel, some towel paper here. Yeah, I have been looking for some place to put it. Uh, this would be an obvious place here, but that it, it'll obstruct the, uh, the window view that I have. And uh, I left it especially just to have some view outside when I'm working in the uh, kitchen so what I decided to do is uh, put it here in the rear and with the opening facing backwards so uh, when you break the roll cannot disengage so uh, and then instead of here in the front I'll put it as far back as I can it has two ways to uh, connect to the uh, underside of the cabinet it's just with sticky tape uh, and that's probably a sort of uh, 3M glue, so that's very strong. But what I'll do is I'll put it uh, on the glue and then put an extra two screws in it anyway. I already cleaned it uh, with the alcohol under the cabinet here, on the underside. So that's that. But now, let me do it this way. I think it's not entirely straight, but you can't see it anyway. I wonder if I will put some screws in there because it's... <laughs> put it up there and... <laughs> so I'll probably leave it that way. So the instructions say that you have to leave it that way without any weight on it for 24 hours. So, see you back in a day. So lately just when I have uh, an hour available or so in between. Uh, I've been working on one of my final drawers. Uh, still have a few drawers to make, but um, quite easily to make, but I spent a lot of time on it because I made it uh, all from uh, rough wood. So I started with a six inch board, about one and a quarter inch thick, made two boards out of it and then cut it in half um, and this is all hardwood, this is maple which I like to work with, hard maple by the way. Um, so you can uh, figure out the uh, exact widths of, uh, of the boards and whatever I want to do with it, make uh, some nice connections here between the boards and this time instead of uh, one quarter ply I use a half an inch ply because uh, this is something that has to be a little bit sturdier. It's heavier but as I said sturdier. Um, I put it all together, glued it all together, I already sanded it uh, with rough sandpaper ones with medium and now I'm doing the final stage with some finer, uh, oh wait a minute, with some finer sandpaper. <laughs> Okay, 
Now we still have to soften up these uh, edges. And then finally, I'll put the entire box in a couple of layers of uh, polyurethane. And then put it in the van. Oh, before I go, please pay attention to these uh, missing children. If you have any information, please call the appropriate number. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. You've done a good job.